rats, the rat infestation at Family Dollars Distribution Center is unsurprising. A retail consultant says, so after witnessing the chaotic inventory pile up at its parent company store, so this is by Mary Hanbury, so apparently there is a rat infestation at the distribution centers for Family Dollar. So all these boxes, rats are crawling all over it. And so FDA inspectors found a rat infestation at one of the Family Dollar distribution centers. This led to the Family Dollar closing more than 400 stores. So a retail consultant told Insider that inventory pileups and staffing shortages could be to blame so um, I'm betting this could probably happen to other stores other than Family Dollar. So Family Dollar closed 404 stores this week. So this was after the U.S. government agency investigation found 1,000 rodents at one of the distribution centers in Arkansas. So the company on Friday announced that it was gradually reopening some of the stores. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, inspectors reported finding live rodents, dead rodents, various states of decay, rodent feces, dead birds in the buildings, and recalls were issued on certain items sold as its stores were serviced by the distribution center. So days later... These stores closed altogether, so news of these infestations didn't come as a surprise to everyone. However, Scott Mushkin, I hope I said that right, he's the CEO of the consultancy firm R5 Capital. And so he told the insider that his team, and so I guess on the side you can see, they had to close a lot of stores. Think about it. There's food sold in those stores as well. So he told the team they recently visited to more than 50 of the Family Dollar parent company stores. So Dollar Tree is part of it. Highlighted issues of chaotic back rooms and inventory pileups that could lead to rodent infestations because, you know, they're scavengers and they're looking for food and things to eat. Bags they could probably rip open and eat food, candy, whatever. So to call it chaotic is an understatement. There were inventory mountains, he said, on a recent call. So I have never seen anything like it and witnessed anything in those back rooms that was plenty of cover for rodents to move around. And so Mushkin's team... They created a report after visiting 50 of the Dollar Tree stores. So it's not only Family Dollar, it's Dollar Tree as well, which they're one in the same. So which has shared and with the investment analysis analyst that reviewed by Insider. So the report shows stacks of boxes. They were piled up high in the stock rooms and various Dollar Tree stores across the U.S. And so Dollar Tree did not immediately respond for the insider's request for comment. So the store after store, there were piles of inventory. So in our opinion, there is a very low probability that the company fully understands the inventory position at the store. The report has said this. And so the the paints... This pin, this was painting a similar picture of what Insider found during the store visit of two of the Dollar Tree Brooklyn locations. This was in 2022 and to um, 2018. There were boxes that were stacked up high in the middle of the store and left to be unloaded in abandoned crates. So Munchkin, Munchkins said the inventory pileups he witnessed could be down to supply chains, the challenges in stock arriving all at once, or staffing issues. I would bet it was staffing issues because they can't get everything un- undone or place it correctly so because of the labor crunch. Because there's like hiring signs all over the place and they don't have enough people to work these jobs. And then 
the pay is not that great. And so I've heard some stories about some of those Dollar Tree and those um, stores like that, how some people are in stores where there's no real security, and so it can be dangerous. So Gabriella Santanella, uh, analyst, found a founder of the retail research A-Line Partners echoed this statement and, and the sentiments. And so the stores are understaffed, pretty much. That's what I was thinking. Sometimes with only two people working there. So it isn't unrealistic that things like rats and infestations might go unchecked for a long time. And they just don't have the bandwidth with, to deal with it. And so it's sadly a reality, she said. And so it's not only the Dollar Tree group that has the issues of unsafe box stacking in its stores and the lack of staff to deal with it. And so it's the main competitor, Dollar General, as well, has faced over $3.6 million in proposed penalties from the Department of Labor, Occupation and Safety, and Health Administration since 2016 over issues of worker safety in its stores. And so OSHA has said in a press release this week, the inspectors found examples of willful violations of the employee safety at some of the stores last summer, including stacking boxes or boxes that were in an unsafe manner and blocking exit routes. And so while untidy stores haven't discouraged shoppers so far, dollar stores continue to grow at rapid rate. So it's about the money not the safety it looks like which is not good and then think about it rats all over those things in those stores so the u.s and um it says the rapid rate they grow real fast these stores and thrive during the pandemic so they've made a lot of money during the pandemic these stores these businesses analysts say that the recent reports of pest control issues are likely to be more damaging and since they've learned of all of these rodents crawling all over the, the items. So the low price proposition of Dollar Tree Family Dollar does result in uh, trade-offs. So no one expects the stores to be luxuriously appointed to have fantastic merchandising or to offer top-notch service. So Neil Saunders, Managing Director of Global Data, Retail said in a note to Insider, so he continued, however, basic hygiene, including pest control, is an expectation. I think most shoppers will find the latest headlines distasteful, knowing that rodents probably been crawling all over their items. So no matter how low the prices are, or how low the discounts are, that doesn't sit well with you know people that are buying these items thinking that rodents are crawling all over and when they carry like diseases and whatnot so that's not a good look so we'll see how this turns out but those stores have been making a lot of money they don't have a lot of staff and they're understaffed and the staff doesn't pay that well and i've seen where they have some stores that are so dangerous they'll have shootings at those stores and one employee i remember seeing in a documentary he was working at i believe it was dollar general he said he actually had to carry a gun to work because it was that dangerous to work at the store and it was understaffed and there was no security and so there were people at that store hanging out and it was so unsafe that the only way to feel some level of safety he had to actually have a gun and at one time I believe I saw in the documentary he said he actually had to use the gun. So that's how unsafe. And now we're hearing about the rat infestations of these stores. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, a Family Dollar, they're all like one of the same. Like they're what they say partnered companies or parent companies. So it's, it's just disgusting. Can you imagine the food that they sell? They sell food in there. Rats crawling all over it. Oof. Well, we'll see. But look at, this just tells you, boxes stacked all on top of one another. And I have seen that when I've gone in stores. More boxes just stacked on top of one another. All over the place. Rats. I haven't seen that. But... 
think about it, now it makes you wonder, you know, maybe they are hiding because people are in the store shopping, but one of these days, you know, the rats will be bold enough to come out and probably run across the store. Oof. Just to think about that. It's disgusting. Okay.